Chicago Sports everyone, City Media. Well, you guys <laughs> everyone that hasn't seen the chaos, come, come on over this way. So. So I'm Mike Mankow, um, work out of New York. Uh, the company is Smart City Media, but from here on we'll talk about City Post. And in the case of Kansas City, we named it K-City Post. And it really is all about posting city messages to the street. Um, typically, uh, people have, in, in certain cities, like in New York City, there has typically been your bus shelters, your static posters were hopefully now a thing of the past, but people were getting ads after ads and really not getting a whole lot of value. So really what, we, what we've what we been doing, because our company's been in existence for about seven years, we launched a pilot under Mayor Bloomberg's administration, and we've moved west uh, under Bob Bennett's uh, leadership, and it's just been absolutely phenomenal because the public-private partnership and also with the Cisco Group and Sprint uh, just working so well that we've been able to launch the type of network that we want on the streets here. So we talk about citizen engagement and this really is citizen engagement. Um, it's all about posting local community information. That's what we're pushing out. Um, we want the community to you know, get the information that's relevant to them when they're walking by, uh, when they're waiting uh, by a streetcar stop. Uh, they can just come up and see what's going on in the city. Right now what you see is a digital loop Every 10 seconds, the message is changing, and it's just, it could be art information, it could be the Chiefs game, it could be mu a music fair going on. It's just a host of um, information that we're constantly publishing. We're publishing it on a daily basis. If, it, if it's the same stuff day after day, it's boring, it's old, and no one will use it. So, uh, you know, we're encouraging, we actually have a local desk we enter a city we open up a local desk and we actually have an office at the think big space and we're publishing from there um, so you know when we come to other cities we, we do the same thing so just to give you a little I'll play Vanna White here um, a little demonstration of what happened so we're, we're obviously encouraging people to touch it because still the notion of interactivity is relatively new so we want to give people an idea um, so if someone touches it and you're given a choice, do you want to learn more about what the poster is that's on the screen at the current time? Or do you want to go a little deeper into what's going on here in Kansas City? So I touch that and now we have, and this really, these are a series of apps and this is a collaborative effort with the city. Um, we sit, sit down with the city and say, you know, what's important for you uh, to communicate out, out to, to, to your public? Uh, so. We have KC now, um, attractions, uh, KC Gov, parks. Uh, this is pretty cool, the, the bike sharing program. So now you can find out if, the, if you, the bike rack is two two blocks away and you don't want to walk there to find out there's nothing available. So you hit a location that tells you there are two bikes uh, present. So you better have, hurry up and get there before it's all taken. Um, there's a group, we're screwed. We're okay if I'm with person. <laughs> so um, we embed the sports community, the music community. What's fun is we're getting calls all the time from different parts of the community. I mean, the arts, they want to put up something next week. So, you know, it, it's literally an hour. We get the information, we post it, and it's up. Um, so um, obviously the sports community, there's a lot to publish and, and the interest is high. Um, so if you go... Actually, this was a group that was, um, this is electric, electric Car Week. This was Kansas City Power and Light. And they came to us and said, can we post the message for a week? Um, and I think it was over at Power and Light, uh, right up there, 14th Street. Uh, and we put it up and, uh, and they got their, their money's worth. So if you go back here, <coughs> obviously around the streetcar, it was a big deal. So. We put routers into the streetcar and we have real-time tracking. And what I'll get into in a minute is we take everything that you see here and we put it on to the mobile app, which I will hand out cards and you can all... K-City Post is the app, so simple. So if you can see the type of content that we're putting out on a regular basis. So, um, and we have the real-time the real tracker on your mobile app as well, which you see here.
And then we have, I'll do this, just, we have video capabilities. So, sound. Give you all the introductory information about the street car. What's that? Now, what's important about the video as well and the sound, phase two, we're going to put 911 touch. So if the police department has the ability to receive a video message, you could have a two-way, this is your camera, you could have a two-way video call, um, which obviously is, hopefully it's not used very often, but in times of trouble, it's great to have it around. Also at nighttime, to see the light coming from these kiosks is a nice, safe, an extra safety. Um, these are your speakers, you have Mike, a jack. Um, Fully ADA compliant. We've done a lot of work with the ADA community. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be implementing a call center to the uh, for sight impaired. Um, so we've, we've we've been around for seven years. So we've, we've thought through all the the pieces that really need to make this thing work. Um, another cool feature is if your town has a lot of visitors coming. Here we implemented uh, eight eight languages go up to 150 languages and anyone have a favorite language? Obviously Dutch. So so everything and everything just converts right away. And it's all gonna scroll just like your your iPad or iPhone. Now we'll go back to um, wayfinding we're upgrading our wayfinding system so it's going to be hyper local um, and it's going to give you all the information you have you know you have Antons and you want to go to the power and light district and it will take you from point A to point B and it'll be a nice way obviously everything we're doing is hyper local so the information we're putting at Union Station may be slightly different than some of the information you're getting uh, at, at the river market so we started here in Kansas City with 25 interactive screens, um, 13 up and down the streetcar line, most of which are two-sided, there are some one-sided. Actually, in total, we have 13 double-sided and 12 single-sided. Uh, and then what we do also is, uh, Bob had a request that uh, some of the uh, districts have street furniture that's black, so we powder-coated the units and we have a bunch of, of chaos that are black powder coated. Um, so we, we obviously work with the, the community. It's got to look right for for uh, uh, where you are. Um, small business. We have, I mean, we believe the towns and cities that we're going into, small business is a critically important uh, group, the lifeline of the city. So we give small business owners the tools to be able to go online and type the name, the, the name of their establishment, a headline which could be simply if you're a coffee shop you know half price latte from seven in the morning till nine in the morning so real-time information headline and a visual is as simple as what you do on your phone so we give a tutorial to the small business owner they can put put the message out and and choose where they want the message to go what time of day and for how long so it's a great tool for them it's it's accessible and it's affordable to that community um, so, and that same system for the, the police force and the government, they can override the system if, there, if there's trouble in, in the community. Um, you know, whether if there's a shooting, if it's weather related, uh, they can push messaging out to one screen, different message to, to another screen. Questions so far? Bob? Sure. What, what he didn't tell you is how Mike Mainthouse may be the most popular man in City Hall. Um, I should say how. You should say how, but I'll, I'll tell everybody the, anyway. So these little babies here, they are a good engagement tool. Uh, the fact that my good friends over at our Office of Performance Management actually have highlighted some of our KC staff meetings on uh, KC Gov to show how we're doing as a city is really, really, really cool. But what's more cool is these things pay for themselves. So what we did was we bought these machines uh, from Mike and his group. 
and every month I get half of the residuals from all the ads they sell. This allows me to pay for silly little things like the kiosk itself. Like those Sensity sensors you see up on the lights here. Like the Wi-Fi itself. All of our entire smart city infrastructure gets paid for in terms of maintenance because Mike said, we'll share the revenue with you. What a nice and guy. Oh, what a nice guy. <laughs> um, but oh, by the way, because of that, what we're able to do is sell that to my city manager. You guys are gonna hear tomorrow about what this whole partnership thing's all about. Uh, everything you saw up and down the streetcar today, somewhere about $20 million worth of kit between the Wi-Fi APs, the Sensity sensors, the software behind it, the uh, analysis system that Chris Crosby and his guys put together. Uh, think big, and they're sort of planning behind how this strategically would all work out. Integration into phase two. All that stuff, about $20 million worth of kit. Cities built for this, somewhere between $1.7 and $1.9 million, depending on how you cut the map. The reason for that big differential is Cisco makes money on this deal. Sprint makes money on this deal. Mike Mainthau is allowed to make multiple flights to and from his new favorite city, Kansas City, from his old favorite city, where some team from New York wearing different colored pinstripes than my beloved Cubs were, <laughs> uh, where they play on occasion. Oh, by the way, George Brett did beat him with that home run. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> It is an honest to heavens, legit partnership where these guys succeed. What we get out of it is the ability to actually transform what was a cool city into a smart city. I've got data now and data systems where I can actually predict where the next problem is going to be. I am so totally not interested in solving a crisis that's already occurred. What I'm trying to work toward is solving the crisis that's going to occur next week or in three hours from now. While I am a Cub fan, if we have to have another World Series rally, I would like to know which of these stops I need to send the buses to because I've got a sensitivity system that can count the bodies and tell me when they're coming. I would really, really, really like to have a dedicated set of the broadband which tells me how they're going to get there and gets that data to me. When y'all look on your cell phone that says KCIOT, yeah, that's the 10% that we as a city just use exclusively. And when you were looking at all the pictures the Sensity guys were using, that's the part of the bandwidth they were using to do that. I would really like to have faith that all these systems are actually talking to each other. That's what Cisco does for me. I would really love to be able to know that I can get about 100 more of these things and I'd like them in, oh, I don't know, about four months from now. That's what this guy does for me. There were 16 partners in phase one, and that was only about 2.2 miles. Y'all rolled the whole distance on that streetcar. What we're looking at for phase two is about five times that distance. And oh, by the way, I'm gonna add a little shot spotter to that, so public safety can actually figure out where the second gunshot's gonna come before somebody shoots it. Because what the police told me was that the first gunshot is bad, but the second gunshot is what kills somebody because some clown decides he's gonna make a statement with the first round. And if I can get a policeman to that location before the second round is fired, I've just prevented a tragedy. And that's the difference between a smart city and a cool city. And we really, really wanna be smart. And we really like the idea of a competition because this whole smart city challenge thing we just went through, everybody who was on this streetcar line, they were all a part of that. And the idea that all of us are all competing toward the same goal means that guys like this are working overtime to be cooler than each other. <laughs> and when they're competing, we all win. So it's all cool. We're having fun and I don't want us to get rained on, so I'm gonna turn it back over to our actual MC since I so abhorrently took over your meeting. Oh, I